Do you have CD envelopes? Well, then I have a fun project share for you. Join me as I walk through these fun window envelope pockets for junk journals and scrapbooks. So hi there everyone, I'm Jennifer. Thank you for stopping by Scrapbooks and Memories. And like I said in the intro, I have a really fun project to share with you. I recently, um, like a week or so ago, maybe a couple of weeks by now, picked up this case of uh, CD DVD window envelopes. They were a dollar and there's 50 of them. I got this from a thrift shop. And as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh, those would make perfect little windows. These are so easy to alter. And I did them three to four different ways that I'm going to show you today. So first of all, I just use bunches of different types of paper. I have some from um, my recent collections that I showed. This is from the Life is Abundant Graphic 45 papers. I did some mixed media stuff. I did a little bit of scrappy look with some um, cutouts from magazines and book pages and stuff. And then I did like a little envelope style. And then I did two different versions in my Hort Eyes journal. This is another way I did them. This first one, let me just show you since I have my uh, journal out here, we'll start talking about this one first. So actually this was one of the first ones that I created. And this background paper here behind the window is just a printout free paper I looked up free Valentine's paper on Google and found a website that had this beautiful paper to print out so what I did is I cut it down into a square that closely resembled the size but you know I left some space and then I just put glue on that and I stuck it to the front side Let's see. to the front side here now when you do it like that and you slip it in this is what I did I put glue all around the paper slipped it in you will sometimes get a little bit of glue on your little window but that's okay because it uh, my glue does dry clear so you want to make sure you're using a clear dry glue for that so when you do that it's going to stick just to the front window here and then you'll have the back still plain and that's what, how I like to do it so when I stick stuff inside my window you can still see the design that I intended to be and everything that I stuck inside my pocket is still behind the image that comes through on the front now if you don't like that look and you like the look of the items in your pocket being seen through your window, then that's perfectly fine. You could put your glue on the back of your paper and then slip that in. And instead of it gluing to the front part here, you glue it to the back. And so you'll still see the image when there's nothing in it, but when you slip your papers inside of it or little ephemera bits, you'll see the ephemera plus some of the background. So there's really different ways you can do it. And it's really all up to you and how your preference is. <laughs> Excuse me. So once I did that, I just laid it up with some chipboard stickers, some little jimmies, and I did cut this top part off here for this pocket just to make it an easy standard up and slip up and down out pocket. Well, let me see. I do have another one in here. Oh, here it is. Right here. Now for this one, I put my image in the same way. But instead of cutting this top part down, I just glued that shut, took my scissors, and cut just a little sliver here off of the right side. And then that makes it into a little side pocket. And they're pretty deep. These pockets are pretty deep, so they can hold a lot. And you can put a tag in there. You can make it an extra long tag if you want it to stick out. So that's the first couple ways you can use the CDs. The third way that I used, I was playing around with my um, book images. And then I had this beautiful little image of this like type of seagull by the ocean with some other birds flying in the background. 
So I just cut this whole piece out, just the window piece, to get all apart. Just cut it on the sides here, slither here, and then cut the bottom and this little top piece off just to leave the little window. And I intend to glue this down onto a page just like so. And then you have like the decorative page with just this window down. No, And the way you glue it down, you could turn it into a pocket or a tuck. Totally up to you. For this one, I put some little gems, I mean some beads, this beautiful butterfly, and just some like orange netting and some seashells. I like to collect seashells, so I had some seashells. And I thought that was really cute for like a little mixed media piece for a journal. Then... Let's see, I made those two last. Then I did a really heavily decorated pocket. How did I do this one? Is this one just meant for decoration? I think this one was, oh, nope. I didn't glue the top. That's what I wanted to do for it. Okay, I remember now. For this one, I left the top flat, but I did close, I did glue this back piece closed because I didn't want it as a pocket. I intend to glue this down into a into a journal page and have it to where you could flip up here and either have space for writing or have space to put a photo or a little pocket tuck whatever you want and then you just have the front as like the focal point just for decoration purposes on the front that's so pretty and I love that I did like a little mixed media here too with the lace and the stickers and the books and the chimneys I think that came out really pretty so that's like the third way you could use it as gluing this piece down as not a pocket but as a little flip up writing space and then the fourth way is I just took the envelope and inverted it instead of it and I did just cut the edges because I tried to open the flaps and of course you know the paper is really thin so it's just going to rip and tear and you know, not good. So I just cut a slither here, cut a slither here, and I was able to just have it open. And I made this cute little closure with the butterfly. And this is the top flap here of it. And then it just folds out like so. So the window is on the inside of this one. And I do have to cover it because I put these little brads in, these little mini decorative brads. But put some paper here, and it could be a little writing area. And then maybe you could write around, put some little dates or something around the little window. Try to keep it as flat as possible because you know, it'll bulk up. You could let it bulk up a little bit and still be able to close it probably. But not too much. And then it would just be all bulky and see on the sides it'll bow out. But I'm planning on just gluing that down into a, a journal page like so. That way you can have this like this really fun, cute little interactive way to open it and have a little space for writing and such. So that is the fourth way you could use the CD envelopes. And then recently I showed you guys the Graphic 45 paper that I just bought. So I made a couple of the envelopes with the fussy cuts and some of the um, little 3 by 4 cords and stuff that come with it. And I think I just made these into regular pockets. Oops, some of it glued shut. Do, do, do. Oh, there we go. Just a little pocket. So pretty. I really love how these fussy cuts layered up. So pretty. I love this collection. It is just a gorgeous collection to play with. I actually made a bunch of other things already. <laughs> I started a little mini journal, a little green, um, black and white mini journal with pops of blue with that, with this collection. And I've also made a bunch of different ephemera. Why did all this glue? I must've put too much glue in these. Just little pockets. It's so fun. So that is what I was working on lately that I hinted to in my last Hard Eyes journal. That was the project share I was talking about. 
if you had noticed the pockets that one of the pockets was showing in that last video that I mentioned if you guess what it is it was the CD window envelope pocket so I just wanted to come on and give you guys some inspiration and show you you know just sit down have some fun rethink how you could use things you have around you or if you're out shopping and you see something I mean these were a dollar I mean for a dollar I couldn't pass it up there's still probably many other ways I could use these that I'm not even thinking of at the moment so I just wanted to share that with you guys today and I hope you have a really fun crafty week and make sure to keep that inspiration flowing thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one bye